Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to be completing the quest Royal Trouble. If I can find the damn thing. The quest requirement is Throne of Miscellania. The skill requirements are 40 Agility and 40 Slayer. I just need it. Just 5 pieces of coal. We will be needing the coal next to a coal mine, so you could also bring a pickaxe if you want to. For the recommended items, one or two stamina potions, depending if you are going to be using Ring of Wealth teleports or not. Then also some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill a combat 150 that can only use melee when you're standing next to it, or can only use ranged when you're standing afar. That boss is weak to everything, but especially weak to magic. Then also the boss is very poisonous, so bring an anti-poison, and also, having about 9 empty inventory slots would be great. As for the teleports, none are necessary, but just to speed things up a bit, I'm going to be using 6 teleports of a Ring of Wealth. And then after the quest is completed, one teleport away out of Miscellania. Where to start this quest is at the same location of the Throne of Miscellania quest, here on the first floor of King Vargas' castle of Miscellania. Let's talk to Advisor Grimm and select option 2. Has anything happened in the kingdom recently? And then select option 1 to start the quest. Next, we will need to speak to the person who we married during the Throne of Miscellania quest. You can also change who you've married by simply speaking to King Vargas. I have married the princess, if I recall correctly. Simply talk to her to start the cutscene. And because we are currently regent of the Kingdom of Miscellania, King Vargas has gotten really bored and started to argue with Queen Sigrid even more, to the point that he declared war. And we will need to solve this quarrel. After the cutscene is over, let's talk to King Vargas and select option 1. King Vargas will always end the conversation with asking if you want to change partner. Just ignore that option and let's teleport or just run outside. From there, go east and go to the woodcutting side. There should find Lumberjack Leaf. Let's talk to him. Next, continue going east on your way to Etcetria. Let's now talk to Queen Sigrid of Etcetria. King Vargas and Lumberjack Leaf both have told us that Etcetrian soldiers have demanded tithe from miscellanean citizens. So, let's make our way to Queen Sigrid in the Etcetrian castle on the first floor, taking the southern stairs to ask her what this is all about. Talk to Queen Sigrid and select option 1. After this conversation is over, we will need to go back downstairs and let's go to the market in front of this small castle. 
let's talk to any NPC that does not have a trade option. This could be Haming or Matilda or even Carpenter Kajalak up up north. After we have spoken to a citizen of Etcetria, let's make our way to the Kingdom of Miscellanea. Simply run west or use a Ring of Wealth teleport. Let's return to King Vargas. And let's tell him that the Etcetrians have the exact same problem. That Miscellanean soldiers have demanded supplies from the Etcetrians. So, let's talk to King Vargas to explain what is going on. And he will redirect this to his advisor, Grim. Let's talk to the advisor and select option 1. And he will suggest that foreigners stole the goods. Let's teleport to Miscellanea or just simply use the stairs. And let's walk through the path between the allotment patches. Follow this path to the docks. On the southern dock, there should be a sailor in blue. Let's talk to him and select option two. Oh, he is on the warship. I'm looking for a sailor. And he has taken some kids from Releka onto this island. The kid said that they wanted to meet a family that are living in the dungeons of Miscellanea. So, let's teleport back to Miscellanea, or simply run back west, and let's ask King Vargas what is going on because we have never heard about dungeons in Miscellanea. Be sure to have at least one empty inventory slot since you're gonna be receiving a scroll, allowing you access into the dungeons. After you've received your scroll, let's go back downstairs, not using a teleport this time. I'm gonna be simply using the stairs, and next to the stairs you'll find a ladder going down, just a bit east. You could also find it on the minimap with a dungeon sign. Click on that ladder, the guard will talk to you, and he will take the scroll, allowing you inside of the dungeon. Next, go east and go to the pub sign on your minimap. Go inside and you find a dwarf called Donal. Let's talk to him and select option one, I think. Yeah, of course, dealing with monsters is what I'm good at and he will give us a mining prop. Once we have this, let's go west. And I follow the path going northwest. Go northwest until you see a door sign on your minimap. That is a crevice. Let's use the mining prop on it to stabilize it and then go through. Next, a little bit north in this small room, you'll find an engine. Take it and then use your five coal on it. Next, go back to the entrance to the first crate and click on it three times to take three beams. The crate next to it. Take also three pulley beams and then the crate just a bit on north, right click and take two ropes. Once we have this, go two tiles southeast and you'll find a broken scaffold. Let's use a pulley beam on it. Then use a regular beam on a pulley beam to extend it and then use another beam on it to make it even longer and then use the longer pulley beam on the broken scaffold. Then use a final regular pulley beam on it. And then finally to fix it, let's use a rope on it. Then two tiles north, let's use our final beam on the platform. Next one tile south, we're able to put the engine with five coal in it on the engine platform. And then make sure that you have your rope with you and then use the lift. Next to you, you'll find a plank. Take it and then enter the tunnel, just a bit east. Continue through this dungeon until you see a overhanging rock, just like in a dungeon of the underground pass. Use your rope on it and then click on the rope swing to go across. Next, go a bit east and in every curve in this cave, you'll find some fire remains. 
search it to find a burn diary. Next, continue through the dungeon and use your plank on the rocks, just like in the underground pass quest as well as the mountain daughter quest. Just continue using your plank on the four smaller rocks to be able to go to the next bigger rocks because your character cannot jump. We don't have a double space bar or something. Next, in the next curve, there is some more fire remains. Next, continue through the dungeon. In the next curve, there should also be some more fire remains. Next, go a little bit south, but watch out for the steam vents. Do not stand of them and simply walk through the steam vent minefield or else if you stand on them you will take 36 damage. In the next curve there is some more fire remains. Continue through the dungeon. The next curve there is no fire remains and there we go there's another big curve and that is the final fire remain. Let's continue through the dungeon and on our way there, let's read the burn diary. Close the interface and then squeeze through the crevice to start another cutscene. Once the cutscene is over, we basically only have to defeat the boss, deliver the goods and complete our quest. Alright, once the conversation is over, let's skip through this dialogue. We have completed the Fremic Trials, but the kids also want to complete the trials and they wanted to, uh, yeah, start a war or something to try to prove themselves. After the conversation is over, let's continue through this dungeon. Here you'll find some snake younglings. You can simply ignore these. Continue through the dungeon until you see the final crevice of this cave. Before going through the crevice into the boss room, let's first cast or activate Protect from Missiles, then enter and defeat the snake boss. If you're going to be using melee and you're standing next to the snake boss, it will only be using melee. If you're going to be standing one tile or further away from the boss, it will only be using ranged. If you happen to get poisoned, be sure to drink an anti-poison as the poison damage will start from 9. Once the boss has been defeated, let's take the heavy box and maybe the big bones and let's go through the crevice to deliver this heavy box by climbing up the rope 
and then go clockwise around the city walls to enter the Etcetrian castle. Let's deliver this heavy box, which literally weighs nothing. To deliver this to Queen Etcetria. And then after we've delivered this box, she will give us 20,000 GP as a reward. And we can talk to King Vargas to complete our quest. So after she has given us a 20k, let's teleport to Miscellania or simply run west. Yep, let's go goodbye. All right, let's talk to King Vargas to complete the Royal Trouble quest. We're awarded with one quest point, 5,000 XP in agility, Slayer and hit points, 20,000 coins from Queen Sigrid, as well as five additional workers for resources around the island. Also, you now have two additional kinds of resources that you can gain. First one is hardwood, which are teak and mahogany logs, and the second one are farming seeds. Simply go to Advisor Grim, select Collect. And there will be your five workers currently idling. And you can place them at hardwood, for example. Next, you may simply drop the empty box as well as the burnt diary. I forgot to use my Chaos Gauntlets. Whoopsie daisies. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye bye. A uh, GE, I think.